welcome to another vlog. Today, we are going to do something different. We are going to play with math and music. In music, we have what they call musical forms. When we say forms in music, it is a way a musical composition is arranged. Now, what are the different musical forms? We have unitary form, binary, ternary, and rondo. When we say unitary form, they contain only one section, which remains the same all throughout the whole composition. An example we just search is the song entitled I from the line by Jamie Cash that is a type of 2 minutes and 46 seconds. In binary form or AD, this is a made up of two musical parts or has two different melodic ideas. An example that I did search is the song Wilson's that has a 3 minutes and 33 seconds time. The third form of music is the ternary. This utilizes a three part form represented by ABC, and sometimes the third part is the repetition of the first part represented by ABA. An example is the song song by Lana Del Rey, that has a time of 4 minutes and 51 seconds. And the fourth form of music is the rondo. It is made up of twice or more musical parts with some repetition. An example is the Fur Alice by Beethoven. It has a time of 3 minutes and 51 seconds. Now, let us compare the time of the songs that I, did, that I gave as an example. In the different forms of music in the seconds, the first one is I Love the Line with a time of 2 minutes and 46 seconds. So, 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds. So, we simply multiply 60 times 2 equals 120. 120 plus 46 seconds equals 160 seconds. So, the second one is brings 3 minutes and 33 seconds. So, you multiply 60 times 3 plus 33 is equals to 230. And the third one is the swan song. That's a time of 4 minutes and 1 seconds. So, you multiply 60 4 plus 1 is equals to 291. And finally, the fur elites with 3 minutes and 1 seconds. So 60 times 3 plus 1 equals to 231. 21. Now, let us use the sum of these numbers to add and subtract integers. So the numbers that we have converted to seconds. Let us use the numbers that we have converted earlier as an example to add integers. So you have 166, 213, 291, and 231. We can see that these are all in positive form. So we simply add these numbers. So 166 plus 213 plus 291 plus 231. So if we add this all up, the sum is 901. Positive 901 or 901. In subtracting integers, let's subtract positive 166 minus positive 231 
minus positive 291 minus positive 231. The difference is negative 169. When we subtracted 166 to 213, we got a negative number which is negative 47. Then, negative 47 minus positive 291 is equals to negative 3, 3, 3, 8. Then, negative 3, 3, 8 minus positive 231 is equals to negative 569. So, we have a difference which is 569, which is a negative integer. That's it for today and hope you enjoyed watching and most especially le learn something about integers. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button to see the